All right. Hey, my friends, it's Sharika with Share My Life, and I'm thanking you guys for coming back and visiting me today on this happy Money Monday. And so, as you see, my background is a little bit different because I am in Philadelphia this weekend um, for until Monday. Till, um, so, I my daughter has a volleyball tournament the entire weekend. So, me and my mom came down here um, and we're having a good time. Um, the team's not doing that well, but hey. We're still having a good time. But anyway, today on Money Monday, we're gonna be talking about a couple of different things. So um, as usual, I'll go over my regular questions at first. And first we're gonna talk about any unnecessary spending. And so um, I went to Five Guys twice, and I went to Starbucks once, and I went to Auntie Anne's once. And so what I'm realizing, two things. I'm realizing, one, I need to treat myself. So I think, Starting next week, I am going to add Starbucks to my budget. I should have turned the volume on my phone off. Oh well, I should have. I need to add Starbucks to my budget at least once a month, once a week. Um, that's just for the beginning. Um, there's something about, like I said before, there's something about that chai tea latte that really uh, makes me happy. So I think I'm gonna add that for a treat. So at least I have something to look forward to and it's not um, completely depriving myself of something that is my favorite. Also, I need to start researching into how to make this daggone chai tea latte a lot cheaper. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start looking into that. Get on Pinterest, maybe find a recipe, an easy, quick recipe, because you know I have it early in the morning. Um, also, those two trips to Five Guys and Ani Ann's, I really need to find a stress snack. Um, it's the it's the carbs. Uh, when I get stressed out at work, I crave carbs, and so a bag of potatoes. I don't eat the burgers or anything. I eat the French fries. I just get a bag of fries. And anybody who's been to Five Guys knows how to do a bag of fries, and it's like really greasy. Um, so it's my favorite thing to get at lunchtime when it's a stressful day. So I really need to find a stress snack from home that I can bring. And maybe, you know, in the evening I'll have like my bag of popcorn. Maybe I need to have my bag of popcorn during lunch or um, something to bring to work that's a lot cheaper. And mind you, my trip to Five Guys, the Five Guys fries are only $4, but still, that's $8 in the week that I could probably save on. You know, if I get a bag of popcorn, if I get a box of popcorn from the grocery store, it's probably four dollars for the box of twelve, so I'm saving a whole lot of money. Um, and my favorite popcorn is kettle corn popcorn. I don't like regular butter popcorn. I need the sweet kettle corn popcorn. But anyway, so I'm gonna test that out. So adding Starbucks once a week for now, and also bringing my kettle corn popcorn to work to see if that kind of just masks my my uh, my cravings that I have when I get stressed out of work. All right. So, uh, secondly, did I meal prep? Hashtag yes, I did. And um, besides, like, so here's the thing. Those Starbucks runs and those NAN's runs, those are all on top of the meal prep I do. Like I said, it's stress eating. It's emotional eating. Um, but anyway, so yes, I did meal prep. I had breakfast, lunch, and dinner meal prepped. And I'm getting the hang of it. Um, that little concoction that I made of the sweet potatoes, I've kind of just been adding to it. I think the first time I did it, I just made sweet potatoes and balsamic vinaigrette dressing. This time I added some honey and some other seasonings. Oh, it's so good. So I made that all week. Um, I had some shrimp a couple days. Also just had plain out vegetables the rest of the days. Um, I really don't mind eating just sweet potatoes and vegetables. It was delicious and filling. So I was really proud of myself for that. Also, um, for this whole weekend in Philadelphia, the hotel that we have has a kitchen, um, has the refrigerator, has a microwave, and you can actually get a hot plate. I didn't really bother with the hot plate, but before we left, I made all my food for the weekend so that I wouldn't have to eat out, um, which I think turned out well. And actually, I have way more food than I need to. I made some tuna fish, I got uh, my favorite cereal, and I cut up some um, strawberries and some blueberries to have with my cereal in the morning. Um, and I also had some leftover shrimp to have with my, of course, made my sweet potatoes again. Um, and I have some kind of ba bags of um, microwavable vegetables. So that is what I'm eating this week, uh, this weekend. And I have plenty of food. Now I did go buy some food um, for my daughter 
I gave her some money and that's all in her little spending budget or actually my budget that I had for this weekend. Um, and so that's a completely separate account, which I probably will should make a video about what I saved for this this trip and how I actually spent all the money. And um, but so she, it gave her some money, but she's a cheap wad, and so she didn't really want to spend any money. So of course I went and got her some things. She's staying at a completely different hotel with her team, and so me and my mom went uh, did some sightseeing yesterday, and we got her a couple things so she could have her dinner last night right after she played. Because um, I know after they play, they play hard. Uh, she wanted some really good food and didn't want anything, any kind of junk. So we got her some good food. Um, so yeah, I we meal prepped. My mom actually meal prepped too. So we've been chilling in the room just eating. Um, bought my popcorn. What other snacks did I buy? Um, that's pretty much it. Just eating a basic meal. And um, I've actually had time to work out. It's a pretty good trip. I'm getting a lot of stuff done and I'm being produ very productive with my life um, and getting out and being active and stuff. So I'm really having a good time. Um, did I make any money? So I know you remembered last week in my Money Monday report. If you don't, you can go ahead and check it out in the um, Money Monday report for last week. But I said I wouldn't be working back on Body Works at all this week because Monday I had a hair appointment, which I needed. Um, these roots needed to be tightened. And I apologize if you guys can hear that baby crying um, and those kids yelling. I think there's about five or six kids next door. Um, and I heard them all night long. But anyway. Um, so yeah, last week I talked about how I wasn't going to be working back on Body Works because of this trip and because of my hair appointment and because of getting some other things done. Um, but I had I had set it into the atmosphere that I was going to make some extra money this week. And guess what? I did. So I have an Instagram account for my debt-free journey. It is Debt Free Share. Um, go ahead and follow me at Debt Free Share on Instagram. But I have a couple of debt-free friends as well who are on this journey. And so I made a post about um, all the expenses and stuff coming up for my daughter for her prom. Because um, we do have to go pick up her dress next week or this week. Um, gosh, this time is flying by anyway. So um, a random lady, uh, she messaged me and said, hey, I want to donate $20 to her prom expenses. And I was like... Okay, that sounded a little weird, but guess what? She came through, and when she got paid, she donated $20 to my daughter's prom expenses. Now, that is just awesome, you know what I mean? There are really some good people in the world, and you know, sometimes that's why I don't like watching the news, because it just, the news highlights all the negativity in the world, but there are really great people in this world, and sometimes you just have to be in a positive mood and put yourselves in places. If you're a positive person, you will meet positive people, and I was just so grateful, because even though I budgeted um, everything for her prom dress, you know, I'll, coming up, I uh, have to pay the balance of her prom dress. I forgot to budget for accessories, and she's not going to need a whole lot. Um, accessories and shoes. So that twenty dollars, I'm just grateful because you know people don't have to come out their pocket to help anybody and that just shows you know so if, uh, at some point I'm going to pay it forward and definitely donate to somebody in need but um, which I you know I do a lot anyway I'm doing a lot of um, this week I'm going to be working with my church to um, clean up some homeless shelters and do a lot with the homeless this week but I just find it really just awesome that somebody would just came out of their kindness of their heart and donated in, in a time when I really needed to. Um, so yeah, that was my extra money for the week. Um, also, I want to talk about so how I feel. I feel really good. Like I said, I'm getting the hang of this whole meal prep thing and I'm actually doing it. What I really need to get control of is the stress eating. So like I said, I'm going to try to bring like some popcorn or some type of other snack. I need to figure out what type of other snack. You know what? Fritos. Fritos. I really like Fritos. Um, maybe get a bag of uh, Fritos and, you know, portion it out versus going to the vending machine. Um, and then I can take that with me to work. Um, and that can be my stress-free snack and it'll be a whole lot cheaper than spending $4 a day on french fries. But I'm feeling really good. And I also, um, I wanted to talk about the changes that I made to my March budget. And so I think I'm gonna make some changes how I do my Money Monday report because as the weeks go by, I make a couple of changes on my uh, budget based off of how the week is actually going. And so um, today's actually payday for me and I realized I needed to make a couple of changes. So one of the major changes that I made, um, originally I was giving $110 
uh, to my ties and offerings and so I decided to increase that um, to $150 so this paycheck I'll be giving $150 to uh, tides and offerings and I will probably increase that for the rest of this point forward every time I pay off a debt or due um, or uh, yeah pay down a debt or pay off a debt I will probably increase that my goal is to get to the 10% um, but I'm doing it little by little my uh, because I don't want to completely shock my system um, I feel like it'll be better if I do it slowly because then it'll be more realistic and I'll be able to do it long term if I just completely shock my system and do it I'm, I don't think I'll be consistent and be able to uh, keep with the habit so I'm growing there I'm getting there um, another big change is oh so my my car and condo insurance my daughter's car insurance for some reason they canceled I don't know why they canceled it but they reinstated it but they sent me and they also sent me a check um, for the balance that was cut off but so then they sent me that check back and I deposited that check but I'm actually going to pay for my car and condo insurance $456 normally it's $318 but I had um, I'm gonna add that $156 because eventually they said it's gonna eventually catch up to my bill so I'm gonna put that uh, payment the 456 my regular payment plus the money that they refunded me onto my car insurance because like I said they said eventually it will catch up into the system I their her insurance is fine she's driving insured but um yeah just I need to fix that <coughs> also I was supposed to give like 500 and something dollars to the carnival cruise um this paycheck but I realized uh, prom is next month it's in April and so we need to pick up my daughter's dress uh, we need to pick up my daughter's dress we need to pick up her accessories um, and you know get that stuff taken care of so I took some money from the carnival cruise fund and I put it to uh, Mariah fund um, so that we can pay up I think the balance on her dress is like 112 something 112 or 122 something I'm not even sure so I put hundred and forty dollars in that category mind you it's 20 from what the the lady donated to me and hundred and twenty dollars for me um, so that is going to pay off her dress so we have to go pick that up on Wednesday and I'm so excited to go see her dress and pick that up um, and my sister's gonna go with me to help me pick out some accessories as well but the place when we went to buy the dress we saw the accessories and it didn't seem that expensive for any accessories so I'm excited about that so those are the major changes that I made to my March budget as far as this paycheck and what I hope to do in the future is to do the lovely screenshot thing so that you can actually see how my bu my budget is done because I break it up by paycheck my March paycheck is um, my March budget is done by you know the two different pay periods in there what's gonna come out this paycheck and what's gonna come out that paycheck so um, I usually like I said I do it for the entire month but then as the weeks go by I will adjust each paycheck based off of what's happened in the previous paycheck so hopefully once I can get that that software downloaded I can probably show you a little bit um, closer view um, hands-on on how I actually fudge my numbers and make it work for how the week is going but overall like I said I'm doing good I'm happy that I'm making improvements with my meal prepping and I'm actually eating what I'm meal prepping and like I said um, I'm gonna add a little bit of you know fun money into there for my Starbucks um, and that probably should be a part of my me money but I'm not ready for that yet um, so yeah I'm not ready for that I'm just gonna make a little budget it's just like six bucks you know what I mean um, six bucks every two weeks or every week for my Starbucks that's 12 bucks every paycheck so um, make a little bit of room and you know maybe I'll get there maybe I'll actually find a recipe for my chai tea latte that I actually really do enjoy because um, usually I, I get it at other coffee places and I don't really like it so I or I haven't figured out how to make it at other coffee places so that's something that I really need to work on what about you is there something that it's hard for you to take out of your budget is there something that you just absolutely love and can't figure out how to make it or um, you know how to fit it into your budget I know I probably should not be putting it in you know Starbucks is exp extremely expensive but I'm just starting out um, and I don't want to completely deprive myself of something that I 
thoroughly enjoy but um i'm making progress on my debt like, I mean, for crying out loud i'm putting 420 dollars to my carnival cruise which is part of a debt i consider it part of a debt but that's awesome so just imagine when i pay off that carnival cruise that 420 dollars will be going to the the c2 um loan the, the one for my for my daughter's sat prep so progress is being made i'm making a lot of adjustments and just oh this debt snowball is really um moving it's um not probably as fast as others but it's moving for me so i'm really happy about that so um thank you guys again for joining me i'm going to continue to enjoy the rest of my time in philly i actually just came from the gym that's why i got my headphones here and i'm about to take a shower relax a little bit maybe edit this video and go see some Philly before the first game today. Alrighty, you guys take take some time. Um, enjoy the, your week. I hope you guys have a great day. Hope you guys have a great week. Let me know your money wins and your money fails for the week, and what's going on with your money and your budgets. How do you guys budget? You know, let me know. Let's have a conversation about it. Um, subscribe, like, leave some comments, and I will talk to you guys later. All right, bye.